What up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Yes, I'm a little dry faced this morning, but I needed to talk to y'all and I couldn't wait to put on no makeup. All right, so today we're talking about Black Mirror Season 5, Episode 1, Striking Vipers. Ch I have questions and I need the answers. Can some of y'all help me out, please? I'm not gonna go through a blow by blow. You saw the episode, you know what happened, right? So we got two longtime friends, they're gamers. We get the setup that they're gamers. This episode took a long time to get to the actual Black Mirror-ness of it. And I can see that Black Mirror is now, now that they built the world for us through all these seasons with all these different types of technology, now we're not seeing necessarily new technology. They're just kind of using the technology that they already have to like give you different stories, okay? Now they're giving us stories and development, okay? Two guys that are longtime friends, they're gamers. Guy gets best friend. We're going to call him Hawkeye. Ain't that his name in the movie? I don't know either one of them names. So, you know, don't expect me to know their name. So, friend give Hawkeye a computer, you know, a game thing. This is for so, like, you can upload your consciousness virtual reality. Blah, blah, blah. So, you can upload your consciousness virtual reality type of game, okay? So, you know, they get home. They're excited to play the game. And then uh, they go into the virtual reality, and we see that friend is the woman, uh, is the woman character, and uh, uh, Hawkeye is the male character. Okay, so we have them about to fight each other. So they start fighting, fighting, fighting. And, you know, once they fight and they end up on top of each other, they start kissing. Oh my gosh, this is new feelings. Like, what is this happening in the computer world? Okay. So um, the next day, you know, they kind of joke about it. Are we gay now? No, we're not gay. You know, it's just a computer, X, Y, and Z. So they like, ah, oh, we're not going to do it again. You know, it's no big deal. You know, it's nothing. But then, of course, they get back in the game. They do it all the time. Now they're having literally like a affair. So, um, eventually, the wife notices, you know, that uh, her husband is not as attentive. So, oh, child, I got a lazy eye. Wait. It looks sleep, y'all. Wait. <laughs> I look tired as hell, okay? But anywho... My, they wake up, wife gets upset. She goes out to dinner with her husband, with Hawkeye. She like, Hawkeye, listen, you ain't paying me no attention. You ain't give me no dick. Like, what's the tea? I need some. Like, tell me what's going on. Is it me? Is it my body? He like, no, nah, girl, you look good. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I, I'm getting me some virtual cootie cat. No, he didn't actually say that. But she knows something is wrong. Something is off X, Y, and Z. So eventually she invites friend over to dinner and you know Hawkeye about to shit himself because friend is at dinner with him and you know friend is like, hey, let's do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? You know you want to feel this tight, wet. You know what I'm saying? I was like, really, son? And how he tried to do it with other people on the internet. And so friend is more like, it's the internet. It's porn. Let's do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Hawkeye like, nah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Is this real life? Like, do I really like you? I don't know. So after he um go out to dinner with friend, oh I'm lying. This was before he had cut friend off for a whole year. So Hawkeye had cut friend off for a long time. Then the wife invited him over. And you know, when it was cut off, now these are questions that come to mind. Are they gay? I don't think so because the vagina was involved in this whole situation. Now it might have been a virtual vagina, but it was a vagina. They weren't actually having sex with each other at any point. So, do I think that they're gay? No. I don't think they're attracted to each other when they're just men. Or maybe friend is because we didn't get a whole lot of character development. Because, like I said, he seemed like he, you know, more into it. Or, like, he he down, you know what I'm saying, to try some new things. But Hawkeye is like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I ain't fucking with it. So, do I think they're gay? No. No, not necessarily. Or by curious? No, not necessarily. Because, like I said, he's in the body of a woman. And him having sex with a woman. So, he's still getting the same thing as if he was having sex to the woman so it's just incredibly better do does the virtual experience enhance the sex i think so to a certain degree and i think that in one way we could have looked at the time when they were apart because friend was going through okay friend was out here trying to have sex with people it wasn't he wasn't feeling it he was screaming into the motherfucking air nigga was ah! i mean he was just howling and screaming into the air child you know it's serious when you just yelling at nothing Okay, so he hollering in the air, but I think that was more like, um, they set it up like he loves him, he really cares about him or something like that, but I really think the setup was more like, uh, he's addicted to the internet because when he said, I slept with other people, I did this, I did that, trying to get that same feeling again, I think of it's more of an addiction to the feeling that he gets when he's on the internet having sex with people versus him necessarily being a gay man but you know i could be wrong but this is like i said this is not real so 
So eventually Hawkeye is like, let's meet in person. I ain't got time for this shit. Let's just kiss each other and see if we like each other. So friend is like, okay. So they kiss each other and they both say they don't feel nothing. They don't feel no spark. They don't feel anything at all. So some kind of way that turns into a fight. Okay, because he like, well, let's just do it on the computer again. I think friend was still like a crackhead, you know, like, let's do it on the computer again. You know, it's great. It's the bomb. It's this, is that. And he like, nah, 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 nah. We got to stop this shit. Like, for real, we got to stop it. Because this is the kind of thing that could turn into like a fatal attraction, like addiction type thing. Well, I'm, now I'm going to tell your wife. Now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do that. You know, it, it can get crazy after a while. So, you know, Hawkeye like, nah, and they start fighting each other. End up going to jail. Wife comes to pick them up, and then we fast forward to a scene at the end, which kind of came out of nowhere. They're back together again. You know, uh, the him and the wife, the baby is here, and, you know, the wife come in and give him a pass, a little pass. You know, it's like a little thing for the game. It's like, I want this back in the morning. And she put on her outfit, and she go out to the club, honey, and she looking at the man, you know, at the bar, and he looking at her, she looking at him. Okay, and then uh, Hawkeye get on the computer with his homeboy, and they start scoring each other on the beach, bitch. I was like, what the hell? Well, how did we get here? It was a, it was a big jump. Now, that was my problem with the episode that we had such a big jump. It was like, we never heard him tell his wife, this is what I'm doing on the internet. Do she know that it's him or do she think that it's just any random person like on the internet or whatever? Like, what's the tea with that? Like, how did they get there? Okay, like, I just want to know when the conversation happened. Like, that would have been nice to know. It would have nice to know, been nice to know why did friend keep choosing the girl. If after the first day it was awkward and she was weird and you did something that you might have regretted, why would you go back and pick the female character again? It's just like you wanted to do it with him again. So why? do that? Is that person, is that, is friend by curious? Is friend, you know, got some feelings we don't know about or whatever? Um, has their friendship always been purely platonic? Has there ever been anything that hinted around with them any other time? Or have they ever had any type of feelings like that at all? Like I said, I don't think they gave in my opinion because, like I said, a vagina was involved in this whole situation. So some type of way, you know, like if it was just him, would they have done the same thing if it was a man, two man fighters? No, I don't think so. Um, at one point, friend did say, I love you. And Hawkeye was like, nah, like, mm -mm. that's when he was just like, we need to meet in real life. I think after that point. So, but all in all, it was a low key boring episode for Black Mirror. I haven't watched the second one yet. I plan on doing that today. So, um, I miss y'all. I know I've been busy and I just been a little bit unmotivated, but I'm trying. So today I was I'm going to an album release party. I was on this album. My friend Damar, he uh, is a producer, and he did an album with a lot of different, you know, production type of situation beats on there. And I'm singing a song on there. He only has a few songs with you know actual singers. A lot of it's just music. But um, if you like the vibe out, you know, you can go listen to it. It's on iTunes and all your streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, and all those good things, right? Google, site, Music, Cloud, Child, all that shit. Okay, it's on there. It's in there. It's called Grammy Grind. And it's Marty, the producer. And I'm on there somewhere on the album. So uh, check it out if you want to listen to it. So, um, I'll be coming to y'all next week because everything starts again next week. We got claws. I'll be doing claws this season. I'm going to try to do, um, I don't know when uh, Queen Sugar is coming back. I have no idea. Power won't be back this summer. It won't be back until August. So, it's coming back with the fall shows, which I don't like. I mean, there's nothing to watch on TV. Y'all, it's nothing. Yesterday, I started watching... I've watched everything on Netflix except for when they see us. I'm just trying to prepare my spirit to watch that movie. I know it's going to be a rough watch. So um, I'm going to watch when they see us. But I've seen um, Dead to Me. I've watched. Give me some suggestions, y'all. Because I didn't watch everything. I watched What If. I didn't really like that. I stopped that movie. I thought, I'm just, I thought it was stupid. The one with Renee Zellweger it was dumb. Y'all, I'm just pray for me because I do not like that dog on Paula Patton. I do not like her at all. And I tried to watch that show somewhere between um Netflix. And when I tell you it was the dumbest show I ever seen in my life. I was just it wasn't just her though. It was everybody. The her husband was a bad actor. She's a bad actress. 
the little girl, I just wanted to give her an ass whooping like the whole 10 episodes. Like, it was just a hot ass mess. Have y'all watched Summer of 20? Did you like it? It was stupid. Like, the plot lines was stupid. It didn't make no sense. I was like, who wrote this? This is terrible. When I tell y'all, it was the most terrible. It literally, I watched all 10 episodes. And when I say watched, I mean put on when I was trying to go to sleep. Or like when I was cleaning up the house and I wasn't really paying attention. I couldn't tell you one thing that happened on the whole season. It was dumb. It was super. Her wig. Oh, my God. Her wig. Oh, my God, y'all. I could sit up here and make a whole video about why I cannot stand Paula Payne, but I'm not going to tear another black woman down, okay? We just going to say that I just do not like her acting at all, okay? And I'm saying that as an actress who is not that good. I'm, I'm a decent actress. I'm a better singer than I am an actress for sure. I know what I'm serving you, but I'm definitely not serving you, Paula Patton. If I am, I hope just somebody tell me, okay? Because I cannot. Oh, Lord, it was terrible. What else did I watch? I watched Jailbirds. I watched Incarcerated Young People. You know, that one with the, <laughs> I don't know what the name of it was, but basically that's what it was, Incarcerated Young People. Um, I watched Jailbirds. I watched, shit, I don't watch everything, y'all. I don't watch every damn thing on Hulu. It's nothing else on TV. Like, I don't watch the old 24 with the black dude on there. I watched that whole season. I couldn't really tell you what happened either. Um, but... Yeah, I've been trying to make it, y'all. The TV is a drought between Love and Hip Hop. I'm about to just start doing, you know, the trashy shows that I said I wouldn't do, like Love and Hip Hop, because there's nothing else to review, you guys. But if you have any good song suggestions, uh, let me know. I think um, Handmaid's Tale come back, so I'm probably going to throw that one on this season, too, just to give me something to talk about. So um, I hope y'all doing good. Uh, like I said, it's good to see you guys. I miss you. I should be fully back in gear next week. I'm thinking everything should be rolling right. So um, I will holler at y'all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends, okay? Let me know what you thought about Black Mirror Season 5, Episode 1, Striking Vipers with um the homeboy that's a republican i can't remember his name hawkeye and the other boy that was the black mamba the black manta in the aquaman now i did watch aquaman and aquaman was a trash ass movie it was not good i don't care what nobody say y'all can fight me it was a low budget black panther they just switched it around to the to the half brother being the good person and the brother that's on the throne being the bad person and that's all in the cinematography was like similar when they were swooping in on the cities and shit and like even you know nicole came in that plastic fish costume i just could not i said you know what this is terrible i watched all the marvel movies that i have not watched it's summertime y'all and i got time my bitch got time if i ain't got nothing else i got time okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do something with my head i'm about to give me a wraparound braid i'm about to give me a braid you know like this and go like this and it's gonna be long so i gotta go to the hair store that's why i'm up looking a mess you know i'm finna run to the hair store i'm running in get what i need and run out you feel what i'm trying to say so houston about to see me looking a mess because i surely look a mess so um i will holler at y'all later peace